they said, Give thanks to the Lord. His faithful love continues forever. They began to sing and praise him. Then the Lord showed up. My God. Then the Lord brought victories to them. They began to praise the Lord. And immediately, the enemies got confused. They began to praise the Lord. And immediately, the enemies went on head on against themselves. Dear child of God, that moment you know you are having those battles against you. That moment you know everyone is standing against you. That moment you know they have ganged up against you. Just go and praise the Lord. And what he will do is to bring confusion in the camp of the enemy. The people of God did not go on crying they did not bury their head in despair they did not bury their head in shame they did not bury their head lamenting they buried their head to worship the lord they bowed their head to praise the lord and as soon as they did the lord brought confusion in the camp of the enemy dear child of god do not allow that situation. Do not allow those people who have been fighting against you. See you put your head down in despair. Do not give up right in front of them. They may be looking at you burying your head. They may be looking at you going down. They may be looking at you bending down. But they may not understand what you are doing. To them, it will look as if they have won. To them, it will look as if they have broken you down. To them, it will look as if they have succeeded in bringing you down. But what they did not know is that you were receiving the power right there to praise and worship the Lord. You were receiving the power to see that they are confused. The people of God, they all bowed to worship the Lord. And the enemies at the other end thought they were bowing down as a sign of defeat. The people at the other end thought they were bowing down as a sign of surrender but they did not know that they were surrendering all to God dear child of God go to God lay prostrate before him bow down before him and surrender to him when you do you will discover that everything will be taken care of by him you cannot bow before God and end up bowing before men you cannot kneel before God and kneeling before men it is not possible, dear child of God, when you look as if you have been defeated, when you look as if the enemy is having the upper hand, do not worry. Convert it to your worship and prayer to God. Convert it to your total submission to God. Convert it to your surrendering to God. And you will see the Lord do it in a massive and a powerful way. They came against the people of God and all they could do was to bow down. Dear child of God, when you are in that phase of a situation, when you are in that phase of opposition and it seems as if it is taking you to your knees, it seems as if that is already breaking you, convert it to your worship, dear child of God. Convert it to praise unto God and you will see God take over. You will see the Lord take over the fight for you and bring you victories. That time the enemy thought they were breaking you. Dear child of God, refuse to break down. Refuse to get weary. Refuse to tire. Convert it to your weapon of worship. Convert it to your weapon of praise and say to God, I bow before you. It may look like the enemies are breaking me, but I'm converting it to my strength of prayer. I'm converting it to worship unto you. I'm converting it to surrendering unto you because I have learned that I cannot bow before you and end up bowing before men. When I bow before you, it means that situation must bow. When I kneel before you, it means that situation must kneel. When I kneel before you, it means that situation will be brought down. Whatever it is that may have exalted themselves, the Lord will bring them down. And this is my assurance to you, dear child of God know how to go to God. When it seems as if the problems, the challenges, the situations are mounting up in a way and manner that you cannot understand, go to God and surrender yourself to Him. Go to God like Jehoshaphat did and all the people of the land. They laid prostrate before God. They were worshipping the Lord. And as they did, they were praising the Lord. And as they did and said those words to God, 
for his good and his mercy is endured forever. They said his loving kindness endures forever. And out of that, God brought the victory. God brought them that victory that they so desired. The word of the Lord says, Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hand. Forget not the humble. When you humble yourself before God, as the word of the Lord says in Psalms chapter 10, verse 12, God will arise for you. When you humble yourself before him, he will arise for you. And when he arises for you, he will crush your enemy. He will condemn the wicked. Because when he did, when he said to God, Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thine hand. Forget not the humble. And the word of the Lord said in verse 15 of Psalms 10, Break thou the harm of the wicked and the evil man. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Dear child of the Lord, as you humble yourself before God, the Lord will break the arms of the enemy. He will break the hands of everyone who have been contending against you. Know how to go to God in humble adoration. Know how to surrender yourself to God. Know how to lay prostrate before Him. So when it looks like that situation is breaking you down, convert it to your weapon. Convert it to that weapon of your victory. When it seems as if that situation is breaking you down, convert it to your tool of victory. When it seems as if that situation has caused you to lose hope, convert it to you humbling yourself. And he has said, do not, he would never forget the humble. And what it does to the humble is to say that it will break the arms of the enemy just to bring a compensation to their life. The Lord will compensate you. And it will compensate you with that victory that you so seek in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of the Lord, the Lord is bringing you that victory. Dear child of God, the Lord wants you to win in this fight. And this is why he's telling you, lift up your voice to him. Just like Moses who sang and he sang and God brought victory to him. He sang and the Lord discomfited his enemy. Sing unto God your song of praise. Sing unto God your songs of victory. And you will see the Lord bring you victories in the mighty name of Jesus. He has lifted you up and he will keep you being lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works. My God, dear child of God, praise him because when you do, he will bring his goodness to you. Praise him because when you do, he will bring that victory that you so desire. Do not allow anything cause you to shut your mouth in praising God because you have seen that victory that he has destined for you to receive. But when you are shut up, my God, when you can no longer praise him, you will discover you may be giving the victories to the enemies. Dear child of the Lord, you have the victory. So learn from Jehoshaphat. Learn to bow down before God. Learn like Jehoshaphat. Learn to give God the praise. Learn like Jehoshaphat. Learn to go before God and say, Lord Jesus, I know you have brought this victory and this victory will be ours and you will see it happen in the mighty name of Jesus. So lift up your voice unto him and say, Lord Jesus, I await my victory. Lift up your voice unto him and say, Lord, I believe. I believe that you are my overcomer. Lift up your voice unto him and say, I believe. I believe that I have that victory. Lift up your voice unto him and say, Lord, I trust in you. I trust in you because you can never fail. And you will see him show up for you. You will see him bring that victory that you so desire. Dear child of the Lord, you have that victory. And the Lord will bring your heart desires to you. Humble yourself before him and he will break the arms of the wicked. He will break the arms of everyone who are against you. And you will laugh because he has brought that victory to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.